Hello there guys and girls, this is Pixel and today I am back on Mineplex. Now a few days ago I played the minigame Speed Builders and it was absolutely amazing. And what we're going to do today, it's not a minigame, it's not an arcade game, it's probably one of the most famous multiplayer games and that is survival games. And it says here, you've just got to search for chests to find loot and fight others to be the last man standing. Stay away from the borders. So uh, we're just, just going to stay away from the borders and try and win. If you don't know, it is like the Hunger Games. You'll start and there's chests in the middle and then uh, you do that. So this, uh, this is uh, right click to throw axes and this one you take 0.5 less damage. Okay, so let's do this one. I think we're going to use the Axe Man kit. So if we right click, we'll just randomly throw axes at people. That sounds good. Carl the Creeper, we've got rewards to claim. Uh, daily reward, click to claim. There we go, we got ourselves a daily reward. Come back tomorrow for more. Well, yes, Carl, yes we will. Looks like you're about to blow up. Anyway, we're about to start in this survival game. So I don't know how many games we're gonna play today. It might be one, probably not one, it might be two, but it, it might even be three if, if all goes terribly wrong. So uh, let's see, we've got plenty of experienced players here. We've got a horse right next to us. Which chest, I think we're gonna go for that chest on the right. No, we're gonna go for that one right there, the one closest to us. That seems logical. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, pick you up. Oh, I got a diamond. I got a diamond. Not that that can really be used for anything because we need another diamond, but one diamond is perfectly fine. So let's keep going. This map does look pretty good. I don't know if I've ever played on it because that starting arena looked a little bit different than what I'm used, used to. And uh, this looks interesting, but let's look around here for some supplies. That's the first port of call, which is why we're trying to get away from the middle. Whoa, okay. You're right there. Let's put you on here. And now we've got a fishing rod as well, so we can uh, hit people back if we so desire. Let's just go upstairs, but not spend too long in here because it might be a waste of time. And uh, surprise, surprise, it was. So if we just keep going down here, and uh, there's definitely water down there, right? Yep, jump. There we go. We landed perfectly fine. And we can go here and find this secret chest. We wouldn't have found that uh, very likely. Well, we've got the boats and the TNT. Don't know what we're going to do uh, with that, to be honest, but we can we can keep it anyway and stop anyone else from using it on us. So let's keep looking around here. There's nothing in here and keep looking around for these chests. That's a hidden one right there. Um, get you like that. There we go. We got it. A uh, stone axe, which is decent, and a carrot. So we can put that um, here and then put the stone axe maybe there. And if I right click, I don't know. Is there... Okay, I don't know how to do this, like, axe man thing where you where you throw axes at people. But that's okay. We did pick up the axe in the end anyway. So let's keep looking round, like I say, to try and find some supplies. Imagine having this house. Like, I'd be a bit disappointed. I mean, this, this bit's kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, there's not much going on here. We've got another axe and some rotten flesh in there. I'll leave that for the lucky person who stumbles across that. And I'm struggling to know where we've been and where we've not with this map. But anyway, this place looks certainly very new. Let's go up in here and see what we can find. Someone's... Oh! Okay, let's get him, let's get him, let's get him. Let's be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Let's get him. He doesn't know we're here. He does not know we're here. Let's go, okay. Let's just... Whoa! Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Back off, back off. He's got a sword, but we can take him. We can take him. No! What? I would have thought he'd be a bit weaker than that. Oh, we got killed by Zoro with a stone sword. That's really frustrating. Okay, so uh, that was quite a quick game. I'm going to come back when we get ready for the next one. Okay, so we are back in here for the second game. And like I said before about we might be playing three games, that might happen because if this goes bad, we're definitely going to try and do a little bit better. But let's get in here and have a good start with the chest. That's crucial. Let's go. There we go. That was a decent start. Got a sword and some sticks. Okay, there we go. That's a pretty good start. We've got food, sticks. If we want to make a sword, we just need supplies in them. Take you out, definitely, and put the trousers on. There we go. We're looking good. We're looking good here. Better than we did last time, anyway. We've got cooked fish as well. So that's that's quite substantial in terms of looking after. So if we just go to the edge before the border control comes in and um, starts hurting us, we'll go here and look at the chest, because I know there's a few up here. Yeah, here's one uh, here, bottle of enchanting snowballs, and uh, let's keep going here, jacket potatoes, don't mind if I do, sir. Okay, let's keep going up here and see what else we can find, and hopefully there's no one, okay, there is someone down there, but they're not too close to us, so if we just hide and crouch here for a minute and sort out what we're doing, we're not actually crouching, which is a bit annoying, keep the carrot there, stick there, and there we go. Okay, let's just get this bottle of enchanting out of the way. There we go, and get this chest in the corner here, because there's usually some good things in here. Yep, yeah, we've got ourselves a stone sword, which is ideal. 
Um, so if we just keep going around to this chest here, we're quite well prepared now. A stone sword in a survival game, certainly this early on, is nothing to sneeze at. And we've got ourselves some more armor. So we look pretty kitted out to anyone coming up to us. So uh, they might think twice before attacking us. Like this guy. He's just running. He simply is just running. Come on, come back here. To be honest, I'm going to leave him. There looks like there's no benefit from killing him. So we're just going to let him be. And uh, if that comes back to haunt us and he comes back and kills us, then I'll be very frustrated because we probably could have taken him. But either way, we've got a chain chest plate. Look at that. And plenty more chicken as well. Put the chicken there and the chest plate on. And look at us. We are looking snazzy, if I do say so myself. Yes, that is how you want to be for a Hunger Games. And look at this. There's a little, uh, little mine shaft type thing here. Maybe there's going to be some chests with some valuables in. Nope, just that. Do we have a hat? We do. It's gold. And I like my golden crown. If you've watched my Pixels Paradise series, uh, you will know that I love my gold crown. So uh, we'll keep that on for now. The chest will be refilled in five minutes. Okay, thank you very much. Let's go up this ladder and see what's on this very tall mine shaft. Okay, there's definitely something here. And uh, okay, we've got some boots. So we are now fully kitted out. That is absolutely fantastic. Okay, let's keep going upwards because that seems like the best way to go. And it means that no one's going to jump up and uh, kill us without us knowing at least like what's going on here what what was that i don't understand what just happened there let's just uh, go this way anyway come on come on there we go we're up all right let's keep going up because it doesn't look like there's anything on this level and then we can see what we're dealing with okay we've got this there's another ladder here ideal and hopefully the border won't catch up to us anytime soon we've got a little cave there but there's nothing in it and uh, anyone around it does not look like it so let's keep scaling this mountain to see what goodies we can find at the top because I'd be surprised if there's nothing uh, here for us to use. So let's get on this ladder, not get caught by the cobwebs and go right to the top and see. We've got a uh, warning, collapsed, uh, collapsed cave. Okay, let's see this. There's the sunset over there and we can keep going around here. It doesn't look like there's much going on to be honest. Jump over there. There we go. We did it and uh, we're still in here, but I don't know if this is very good to be honest. Ah, there we go. Another ladder. That's ideal. We'll keep going up and see what we can find. Uh, nothing in there except for loads of iron ore, but I don't think we can actually get that. It'd be a lot cooler if we could, but there's a guy over there, so we need to be very quiet. Okay, quiet like this and jump down while he's not expecting it. Okay, here we go. He's there. He doesn't see us. So if we're quiet, we should be able to sneak up on him. So let's keep going. We can assume that he's taken everything from the chests and we just need to follow him. Here we go. He's going to check that. Now get him. Get him. There we go. There we go. Surely. There we... What? 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 Come on. There we go. We did get him in the end. If we didn't, I would have been very annoyed. We did actually get hurt though, which shouldn't have happened because um, we had the element of surprise, but we are still alive. Okay. Let's look in here. We've got chain leggings. We're going to take that off. Wait, no, we're going to put them on and uh, keep the compass with us uh, here so we can check to see if anyone is near us. I think that's the best armor we've got. So if we check here, player tracker, 105 blocks away. Okay, that's really fast. So we can look a bit more in depth at what we've got here. We can put that there and uh, there we go. I think we're ready to go to keep looking through this. Okay, there's, there's nothing really left. Whoa, I thought that was someone behind me, but it turns out it was me. And look at the person we killed. I feel really sorry for you. Um, there we go. <laughs> I have christened your body and it will remain here forever. Uh, booties, don't mind if I do. We'd like a bow because uh, it's clear that no one's been in this cave yet. So if we got a bow, we could then use our arrows, which is going to be good in this game because not many people have a bow and arrows. Uh, so let's see what we've got going on here. Okay, I thought that was someone over there, but it's not. It was just that thing there with the tripwire hooks on looked like a person. But either way, if we keep going down here, maybe, I don't know. Let's go uh, up here like this and get a better view of what's going on. Okay, maybe that chest in there has something interesting in it. Uh, no, that's definitely been um, been done. Hilt smash. I don't know what that is. I think that's like a perk that I have, so it shouldn't be uh, too bad if, if that time runs out. You can use hilt smash. Okay. Uh, I don't I don't know what that is, but, you know, that's that's fine. <gasps> An enchanting table. Let's enchant our stone sword. Uh, we put that in there. Uh, sharpness. There we go. So we've now got an enchanted stone sword, which is great because, if you look, the attacking has gone up by 1.25, the damage. So it's the equivalent of an iron sword and a little bit better with uh, sharpness. I think that's what the sharpness does, actually, increase the attack damage. So we've now got a really good sword, so we don't even need to look. Unless we can find a diamond sword, this is about as good as it's going to get. So I don't really want to go down here, actually, because, um, you know, there's... 
there's uh, cobwebs there and we could get stuck. But now let's go here. We've got a boat. So let's get the boat out. Have we got a boat? Or was that? No, the boat was last game. So we haven't actually got a boat, which is uh, a little bit annoying. But let's go around here and see what can be done. Uh, so we did. We have got to kill this episode, which is kind of what we're striving for. But to win would be awesome. I haven't won many of these. So, you know, that would be great. We flipped the lever. So whatever that did... Uh, it's been done now by Pixel. Okay, so let's keep going here. We're getting a little bit hungry so we can afford to have an old jacket potato. When you have this much food, you can eat even if you're the slightest bit hungry because there's no chance you're going to run out in the time that it takes. The chest will be refilled in 30 seconds. So let's, well, come on, get on. Let's get back here and back over there to all of the chests that we've already looted, which are this way. Yes, they are. So let's get here, back up to that mine sort of shaft, and then see what we got. And there's uh, six people left, and we are one of them. So that is ideal. Was it here that the chests were at? I'm not sure. Or was it here? I'm not sure. It's five seconds. Okay, so here we go. Let's get up here. Okay, that's the, that's the barrier thing there that hurts you. Uh, so we're going to get away from that and go this way. The chests have been refilled, though, so any chest we see that are near, is near us we should be alright with. Okay, it's coming this way as well, so let's quickly get this. Okay, stone sword, nothing there. Let's go, 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 go. We don't want to get hit, don't want to get hit. Go, 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 go. Come on. Alright. Uh, let's go down here. I'm really glad we found that enchanting table, though. Like, that was awesome. Okay, let's go down here slowly and carefully. There we go. We didn't get hurt. Let's get away from that border and head to the center, because we don't want to die by something as stupid as border control. Okay, what's going on here? Whoa! That was a little bit of... It wasn't... I don't know if it was a lag or if it was like a glitch, but uh, it happened. So that's been filled... We've got a, a bottle of enchanting there. Let's check if anyone's near us. 94 blocks away. Okay, we can use that, but to be honest, I don't think we're going to find another enchanting table. And we can't go back to the other one because I believe the borders have uh, taken it in. So if we look here, there's five of us left. I think we're in good stead. We've got a good chance. I mean, my combat skills are not the best by any means, but I, I don't think uh, I'm, I'm doing too badly in terms of equipment. So it looks like there was someone over there. So we quickly look into this chest. And uh, there's some boots there. Unbreakable. Okay, they're all unbreakable. So let's have a look in here. Okay, he looks very good. I have duo Hunger Games. There is Solo. I don't understand. Right. Okay. Let's wait here because there's definitely people in there. And I don't know what to do about it. So if we climb down here and see what's going on in the middle. Okay. Let's go in here and have a look. Well, there we go. Take him down. Take him down. There we go. Take him out. Take him out. Okay, he's got a sword. He's got a sword. Let them kill each other. No, they're definitely on a team. They're on a team or something. They're on a team or something. I don't know. Ah! 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 No! No! No, 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 no. I am not being teamed up on in a single player Hunger Games. No, that is not on. No! 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 Please! Please! Ah! We got killed. That was There was definitely an element of teaming up there. Like, that. That is not cool. Look at us. Oh, no. Look at us. I feel like I'm seeing something like like I've had an epiphany. There we are. There's our dead body. Look at that. We'll just get the bar out of the way there. Hunger Games is brutal, man. Look at that. That's crazy. Either way, we're gone now. So let's uh let's have a look and see what happens. I don't know. I think they're on a team. VT Wrecker VT Yeah, VT. Okay, they're all on a team. I get it. So all of them are on a team right now. That's not fair. Um, oh, either way, to be fair, that means we kind of came third because Baby Piglet came second and uh, they all came first as a team, might I add. But I think that's going to do it for this video. So um, I'm going to sign off now. I was going to do three, but that one actually went quite well. So I will leave it there. So, uh, yeah, uh, thank you very much for watching along with me and joining the Hunger Games experience. Uh, it's been a very long time since I've won one of these. So maybe one day that will happen. But let's see. I guess the friends are going to battle it out now or something. And uh, we'll see... What ha well, I will. I don't know if you will. But yeah, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys! <laughs>